Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a somewhat different Let's Play. Uh, we're going to be playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire with one fairly big um, change. I don't know why I went back to the opening. I was going to say, it should be opening now. I just began game. There it is. Um, we're going to be doing it without catching any Pokemon, which doesn't make too much sense, but there is still enough that you can make a fairly balanced team. But hello Birch, everyone calls you the Pokemon Professor, and this is what we call a Pokemon. See, I liked this when I first played this game, with the, it, it just went like, oh, it's going to look similar to um, Emerald and that? That's not how it looked in the back. And I got a little confused, and I love the change they did for this. Um, sorry I'm not actually reading the text. Um, playing together as friends, sometimes helping each other out. And sometimes, we just like to have fun battling. But, as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. There are many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. I do research and try to unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's enough about me. So, I'm going to be doing this without catching any Pokemon, which, there's only one one exception I will have to that. Um, I will catch any shiny that comes across, so you won't see me sell up all the Pokeballs and all that sort of things. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna be the boy for this one. It's what I played Emerald as pretty much every time, and um, our usual name is just gonna stick with Bard. Uh, we played em I played Emerald several times under that name. I played most of my games with Bard, or uh, an older name that I've used before. I heard that Bard. Alright, we're headed to Little Root Town. Um, so hopefully this goes well. Uh, the only downside is it's going to lock in which starter I have to pick. That's the only uh, thing I can think of that is to be negative as a result of um, doing a no-catch run. Because you need to surf. That is the only restriction. If we got uh, our full team before needing to surf, we, would ne we wouldn't need to worry about which starter to pick. However, because you need to surf before you get even the, I think the fifth and sixth member of your team, yes, we're actually going to get six team members. I'm not a big fan of two of them, but uh, we're going to use them because, well, if we only get six, we might as well use all six. Alright, hello mom. How are you doing? You're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the moving Why would you leave me in the moving truck? Like, you clearly got here through some method. I doubt it was the moving truck, since you just said we're here at last, but still. Um, we get our own room. We're gonna head inside and go see our room. Which is, it's a very small place still. Cause there you can see there's the kitchen, there's the living room and dining area. And a staircase that leads to our own room. Growl, growl, grow. Well, thank you, Macho. Thank you. We'll move out of the way and they can leave. Grow, grow, grow. Go see your new room. We even got a clock to celebrate the move. We just have the time, though. Because, yeah, see? That's definitely the top of the stairs, and this entire area is my room. So, we get a room, but the mom doesn't? Alright then, let's set our clock. Gotta set the time! Our hand was set to 9 in the minute 1. I guess, yeah, it is 9 in the morning when I'm doing this, but still. Uh, how do you like your own? I, I like it. It's nice and neat. Um, Make sure that everything's there on your desk. That's just the adventure rules. We don't need to worry about that. We can rush on. And come quickly for... Uh, it looks like our dad is on the TV. Or maybe he will be. We brought you this report live from in front of the Petalbrook Gym. Next up, a special look at the long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it already ended. The end. So there's going to be a meteor shower later, and Professor Birch lives next door. So, because we can't even leave town, 
uh, right now thanks to like the food car to go. Step into tall grass, ball Pokemon will jump out at me. It's not safe to go out there if you don't have any Pokemon. So we're stuck here. There's only three rooms, like three places here, and we've been told next door already. Hello! We're just gonna walk into your house. We're your new next door neighbor. Well, she's in her room upstairs, so she also gets the entire floor to herself, apparently. Bye. We'll head up here, and there is May. I still find it hilarious the bobblehead size in this generation. I like it a lot better in Gen 7 with the reasonable size head, like it looks more proportional. But that's a huge head on that frame. But we're pretty much just ignoring her. She's not too important. She's just saying like, oh, she's supposed to go help her dad catch all Pokemon. The interesting thing is. And you'll see it in just a second. Uh, she left to go help her dad get wild Pokemon. And we'll head up here now because someone's screaming up ahead. So I guess May went to go help, right? No. She managed to leave town without worrying about her dad getting attacked by this Pushiana. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. So normally. Normally, there are three choices here. You can choose the Grass-type Pokemon, Trico, the uh, Fire-type Pokemon, Torchic. My favorite is Trico. Um, I like Sceptile. I love uh, his, even his final form is great. Um, but we're going with the Water-type Pokemon, Mudkip. Um, pretty much, it's the only one we can use because we need Surf. And it's unfortunate because if I could in a regular one, you'd be able to catch a Pokemon that could give you, um, uh, what's it called? Um, ability to surf, like, even on this route, there's two or three. But, we're stuck with, we gotta go with Mudkip, because the only one that's gonna have a chance. So, we're gonna water gun our way through, Puchiana is down. Two hits, this fight has never been a threat. Um, and, doesn't even give you too much experience. It's not like in the first gen where you would fight your rival immediately, uh, and they did that in a lot of the generations, and you get basically a free level out of it if you win. But we are Norman's boy. Didn't realize who you were at first, but you've grown into quite the young man. Let's go back to the labs. This is the third building in that area. But that just means we could name our Mudkip if we wanted to. I'm not really going to be naming any of them unless I come up with a really, really good nickname before I get them. Worst case, we can always rename them later in the game. It said you don't have your own Pokemon, that was quite a performance. Thanks for rescuing me, give you the Pokemon. We got Mudkip. Why not give a nickname? No. Not gonna nickname? Probably never. It's a bit downside. I don't tend to nickname my Pokemon very much at all. We're gonna go meet May on Route 103, so for sure May actually passed right by him. Maybe. Okay, maybe she passed him and got far enough away that she couldn't hear his screams um, when she did pass him earlier, but I, I don't think that was the case. Um, hello, Wurmple. There's only like three encounters I think we can get in this route. We've already fought one of them, that was that Fujiana that we fought. Um, we also have Wurmple, and then... Um, Zigzagoon, are, those are the only encounters you can run into. You'll see Zigzagoon, I'm certain. He's everywhere for the first, like, four routes. Uh, and we fight a few trainers with him as well. So Stringshot actually slows us down enough. Uh, I want to get us to level 6, for sure. Uh, just to make it easier for us to handle this next fight. Ooh, that's not the best stats. In any case, I know Mudkip is going to wind up being over level because we don't get our next Pokemon until after the second batch. So, um, every fight from here until then is just Mudkip, basically. You're a novice trainer. I'm going to give you useful advice. 
This is the Pokémart. You buy things here, including Pokéballs, you know, for catching Pokémon. Everyone catches Pokémon, right? We'll be mostly ignoring that place. Uh, I'm probably going to up my Pokéballs to 20 just in case. Then again, I think I have to get 10 uh, in a little bit. Uh, what do we have now? That is... That's not where my uh, items are in this game. Sorry, I usually have my bag located directly under Pokemon. So we got 11 potions from that guy. We should be fine for quite some time. I'm actually going to swap those now. Put my bag right under my Pokemon. I just, I like to have bag Pokemon and I think save is usually the three I have in that left column. Because I don't use them too much else. With 11 potions, this fight is going to be a complete joke. Even if you get bad luck and crit, uh, as long as it's not the crit that kills you, um, you shouldn't have too much issues with this fight. Because um, you have the option to level up if you want to. You could make yourself level 20 or 30 if you really felt that um, focused on it. But let's get ready to take out May. Trico is coming up against us. I don't think we have anything to worry about from Trico, as much as it's one of my favorite Pokemon. I know at this point, um, our Mudkip is supremely ahead, especially with Growl as one of our moves. So look at that, he hits me for 3 damage, he'd have to hit me 6 more times to kill me. Uh, if he uses Absorb, then yes, he will kill me, no problem. Uh, but fortunately, I think because of that, they don't have Absorb as an available move. But there, Mudkip down to 11 health, so one of those did 4 damage. Still kills off the Trico. Uh, Brandon is reasonably not too much of a threat, and he still gives us a free level, because we were like just borderline getting into level 6 at that point. We took out May. That's great, you're pretty good. Got $200 for that, so that's one more Pokeball for us if we really needed it. And. A great trend that they've been putting in the newer games is they're just going to randomly heal you, and May does it very frequently. Let's get back to the lab. So we're just headed straight south. As much as I'd love to not go back to the lab, just go off the left and continue, there's this guy. A set of incredibly rare Pokemon prints. Wait till I finish sketching them. He is our um, roadblock for now. Carry back to Little Root. So we cannot get past him. We have to run south and get the Pokedex. Honestly, it's going a little quicker than I expected. Then again, I am pretty much skipping most of the optional stuff at this point. Like, I could have went around and talked to everyone in town, but they're not going to give me too much information. Um, May's been helping with the research for a long time. Um, but you beat her, so you're clearly a better trainer than her already. Uh, Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. So meet, in this case. Takes, uh, May takes hers with her anywhere she goes. So now that we have the Pokedex, um, literally nothing changes. If you do use Pokebank, you can trade in any Pokemon you want now. Um, I'm glad they did make it so you need to have the Pokedex before that point, because you do even pass a um, PC. But yeah, now that we've got the Pokedex, we've got some Pokeballs, we could, at this point, if we have a uh, living deck, so every single Pokemon uh, alive in your PC. Uh, so this always makes me wonder if there's an item there. There isn't. Uh, you could just transfer it all over through Pokebank. I've done that several times um, whenever I am starting one like uh, a run like this, because I like the idea of being able to see whatever Pokemon are going to be on the route that we're coming up to. But I don't think it's needed for this one. Now, if anything happens, we can always come home. Alright, goodbye. Normally we get the running shoes. Fortunately, they give it them to us immediately. So all we have available to us is the area. We took three steps and we got another um, block. We've now got the Dex Nav to our Poké Navs. Uh, very helpful for trying to catch lots of different Pokémon. 
and she recommends we do some catching. She clearly does not understand that we are not catching Pokemon in this run. So right now you can see on the bottom screen, well, okay, not right now anymore. Um, and there, this is the third one that we can get. Uh, it's going to be enough that I can at least explain this stuff. So we're going to water gun right away. And not kill Zigzagoon. You will be finding me, at least for right now, I will be trying to take out most of the wild encounters that we come across. Um, because I'm going to want a lot of experience on the kit. Um, because while the first gym isn't going to be much of a threat for my kit, the second gym, because you can do the first one so under leveled, uh, it's going to be much worse. But you can see on the bottom screen right now, um, on the far left, uh, you can see that's probably that that one is the Zigzagoon Shadow. Uh, middle is Pujiana Shadow, and far right is Warpole Shadow. Those are the only three things you can run into on this route. But May is going to pull us for more tutorials. There's a tail sticking out. The Pokemon is hiding there. So here is the last. Uh, like here's one of the other new features for this one. If we sneak up to the Pokemon, we're going to be able to actually take a look. So we'll take a look right here. We haven't seen enough. We just know it's a Poochiana and it's level 5. Um, if you had caught a Poochiana before, it would be visible. Um, so in that little bit, those two patches of grass beforehand, if you caught one, you'd at least be able to see it. If you fought multiple of them, uh, you can get to know what ability it has and what first move it would have. Um, fortunately, it's a Poochiana. I'm not sure it's got too many difficult things, but he does have a chance of having um, Fire Fang or Thunder Fang or I think Ice Fang. I'm not sure if Ice Fang is an option though. I've only ever seen Thunder and Fire. And he makes a really good complement to your starter if you get the right one. Like for example, this Mudkip, it would be great if this one that we just ran into had Fire Fang. And because it's a scripted event, he probably would have. Uh, we're going to heal up in Old Dale Town. And that's where we're actually going to call it for today. Uh, I know we just got started, we've only managed to get our mud kit. However, we have managed to already uh, beat up May. May was no threat whatsoever to our mud kit. Uh, we've managed to get our Pokedex and some Pokeballs. Uh, how many Pokeballs did we get? They shifted it around again. That two seconds that we've had it. All right. So we have 10 Pokeballs and 11 potions. Yeah, I remember how I had already switched the bag directly under me. Yeah, this is the usual setup I have. Pokemon, the bag, and the save. Those are the only three I tend to use, really. So I try to keep them as close as possible. Because of options, not too much we can change here. We'll speed up the text. I've already been basically doing that. Um, I'll, I'll keep it on Switch. I'm going to need that later. But we, well, we only have one Pokemon. It's not really needed either way. Uh, and forced save whenever you use battles and other things. Not going to be an issue. We're not doing any battles. Well, not any of them. Yes, this one's. So, did those footprints disappear? Thought I was sketching some rare Pokemon prints. Turns out, they were my own footprints. I always liked this guy. He's always a good laugh for um, when you do it. But we're going to call it here. So, thank you all for watching uh, the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch Run. So far, it's starting out like any run is, because really there's no reason to worry about it, except for a Nuzlocke. I guess in a Nuzlocke, we'd already have two Pokemon. Well, two or three. We'd be able to catch one on the route we just did, and the one on the route 103, which is to the north. And we're going to be moving on to route 102 next time, and finally fight some more trainers. And they gave us a little taste, but I think a few more trainers is going to be a little better for us. Have a great day.